This video is going to talk you through some of the new features that can be found in Alfresco Mobile for iOS version 1.4. One of the key features of this new version is the ability to take notes within the Alfresco Mobile app. We can see here in the video that we are going to open up our Alfresco server account and navigate to a site and a folder where we'd like to start taking notes. The folder is currently empty, so we press the Add button to create a new folder, which can then be named accordingly to house our notes. Having opened our new folder, we can then press the Add button again to create a text file to start taking notes. When in a meeting or a conversation where we want to share the topic, we can then type our notes in and save them straight into Alfresco. This avoids using a third party app and is much quicker in terms of sharing because it's saved straight away into Alfresco and as soon as it's saved, any or all of your collaborators can have access to your notes straight away. Another great feature of 1.4 is Sync. By going to our settings menu within the app, there's a switch that allows you to enable sync. By pressing this one switch, all of your favorites are immediately synced. We can see in this example, there are four documents. They will now be automatically synced whenever a new version is uploaded or amended. We'll navigate here into our Alfresco folder and add another fifth document to our favorites. You can then see that that is synced by going to the favorites and there are five. So whenever you do not have access anymore to a connection, you'll still have the most up-to-date version of your favorite documents. Tasks and workflow are another key feature of version 1.4. Navigating to the tasks along the bottom, we can see that there are three there and we're going to create a fourth. naming my task so that the recipient will know exactly what it is and I'm setting an end date for when it needs to be completed by. I'm going to ask my colleague James to review this content but I'm also going to assign it to myself as well because it needs both our contribution. So there are two approvers and I'm just going to attach now from within the app still the content that needs to be reviewed. You can turn the email notification on or off. We'll have it on in this case so that both James and myself and anyone else who I might have chosen to assign this to will get an email notification immediately to let them know that there is a task waiting for them to complete. And you'll see that within a few seconds that task is there in my list and will appear identically in James's list as well. From here, we can open up the content and again, without leaving the Alfresco mobile app, we can review through the slides in this particular document and respond. So, all looked good to me. So I can add in a comment, and then I can either approve or reject or reassign. But in this instance, I'm going to approve. And my part of that workflow is now complete. And it's removed from my to-do list. We can also have a quick look into my email inbox just to make sure that the email notification was received. And there it is, right at the top, 
received just a minute ago, letting me know that I've been assigned the task, the name of the task, when it's due, priority level, and a link to access it from my browser. Assigning tasks and workflow within Alfresco Mobile is as easy as that.